I'm Hunter. I'm Rebecca. I'm Caitlin. I'm Nessa. This is The Family Show! I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Keep it. Keep it. How's it going? Hey, you out there. Welcome, Internet. We're going to be yelling about games. I'm so glad you could join us. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. Yes, they are. Roger, they are closed. So. Repeat the question. Oh, yeah. People are asking if schools are closed. Yes. As of right now through April 3rd. I suspect longer. But I am here. Did we get rid of all our games? That's what we are here to decide this evening. So we have our weapons of choice. So Rebecca was complaining about us doing this because we actually have a few empty shelves. Yeah, we have room, but, people. We but, have room. But we added a new shelf, and now that's full. So, but yeah. they're they're laid out nicely. They're not like crammed in or anything. I I see. Mm. <laughs> so, so uh, the, the, another Keep reason. One each. Another, another reason. <laughs> another reason we're doing this is because I like it. It's fun. He likes to fight. He likes to fight. I don't know and, why. It's crazy. And uh huh. BGG BGG Spring is supposedly coming up. Hopefully they have it. Maybe, maybe not. They have a virtual flea market, and I, I like being a uh, a uh, virtual flea. Yes, a flea. I flea <laughs> virtually. <laughs> <laughs> Virtually a flea. Oh, man. And I, 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 I don't know. I like doing that, so it's fun. But anyway, so I got a list of about 35 games that we're going to talk about tonight. We may get rid of some of them. We may get rid of all of them. We may get rid of none of them. We shall see. <sighs> At this point, I'm going to... Where will I sell them? I guess... Uh, well, see, everyone, everyone, for the most part, is kind of self-quarantined. So they need board games. Heck yeah. So I think these were hot commodities. I could go to a grocery store, set up my own shelf where there's no toilet paper, and, <laughs> and sell these games. I just sat there and sell them. With you it. Can, if nothing else, you can use the cards. <laughs> just saying. Oh, crazy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Oh, man. 35-ish games. All right. So if you don't know what we're doing, how this works is, Rebecca kind of shut, previewed it. So I'll pull out, I got the games laid out, I'll put them here, we're going to talk about them, I'll describe the game in my uh, biased way, <laughs> and then yes. we will vote secretly, Yes. Keep. oh, we have to, Cole. No, that's the Cole. Or keep, keep, Cole, keep, Cole, keep. Okay, everyone, get your aerobics ready. If, if we, if we agree, Cole. if we agree, it's out, or in. If we disagree, we got opposites. We disagree. I go. Then, then, then we I win. To, then we have to argue, and the the onest is on the person who wants to call it. The onest. I don't know what that word is. The onus. Is that what I said? No, you didn't. You added a T. Oh. Fuck. I was close. <laughs> call me. Yes. <laughs> All right. I've uh, made up a word apparently. <laughs> All right. I got the colors wrong. My color scheme was off. I had to redo this one. This one got lost somehow. I was supposed to add a green... I was supposed to be green sticks. Oh, is that what you were doing? Eh? And I didn't realize that. I thought coal was bad. Coal bad! Keep, Keep good. Keep good! But no. Fire bad! Alright, folks. Okay. Welcome to those who are joining us. I know we're, we're, we're kind of... Uh, I, don't know, I don't know if competing is the right word, but we're running simulcast... <laughs> Not simulcast. We're at the same time that Tom is over on the Dice Channel. He's doing Dice Tower. He's doing a, like a nightly chat or something. Take that, Tom. We're taking 20 of your people. <laughs> <laughs> something like I that. <laughs> All right. I don't see any questions. <laughs> I don't see any questions. Yeah, right. pretty much. Pretty much. You guys are you guys are all catching on what's going on here. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's do this. We got thirty-five-ish games to go through in about an hour, so we got to kind of, kind of go. Oh, whatever. Semi quickly. I don't. Know. No, you're not. You, you're like I'm living. All right, I'll start off with above and below. It's 
covered in dust. That should tell you something right there. You? Why'd you just do that? Oh, I'm going to sneeze through this entire episode now. Sneeze into your elbow. <sighs> oh, good lord. All right, so above and below, this is a Ryan Lockett pseudo story based game. It's kind of a um, story based ish. It's like, like encounters, maybe, is a better word. Yeah. Yeah, you put in a situ- situation, you have to make a decision on what you want to do. It's got some set collection. It's got. We haven't played this in so long. We've got. Uh, you got little dudes that are uh, have dice. So when they go adventuring, you roll dice, and they're how, however good they are depends on what they have to roll in their little dice when they go on adventures. You're creating a city up top, and you have dungeons down below. <laughs> Tom Bombadil. Thus the above and below. Um, <laughs> yeah. There you go. So we already axed uh, near and far because that did not meet our expectations. So this one, now we're seeing if this one can make the cut above and below. Get your weapons ready. There we go. Sir. You're not gonna, you have no, no, no opinions? Not gonna try I'll tell to, you afterwards. Afterward? Yeah, why not? One, two, three, shoot. It's gone. Sorry, Ryan. I like this game a lot, but we've kind of played it out, and I like his little games more now yeah just uh-huh. like rome and all those and like just saying above and below is gone sorry ryan we love yeah. you ryan that's I true do. the only games we have of his now are the uh kind of the small box games right yeah right yeah yep because just i love those very much all i right. know we're monsters <laughs> we're willing to negotiate for the game jeff <laughs> all right <laughs> Can we help you, child? <laughs> You're distracting us by dancing. Go play. We love you. Are you going to come? Oh, you want to come say hi to everybody? Do you want to you present games? You want to come and say hi because we're about to call one of your games. We have not one, but two copies <laughs> of Duck, Duck, Go. Now, Duck, Duck, Go is unique. Each duck in here is randomly picked from Ugh. God knows what kind of crazy pile of duck factoriness. So there's a unique set of ducks in each game, hence why we have two. Actually, we have two girls, and they each got one, because it was, what, BGG Spring? Yes. Eons ago? This was, like, two yes. years ago. They had yes. to keep these games. I put them in the den on a shelf, and they have not been mentioned once since. So I'm not even... I'm vetoing anything you say. There's no drum roll. These are gone. <laughs> they're they're literally, literally collecting dust. Yeah, thanks for dusting that off again, dude. Killing me. I'm going to die gonna die uh see like and it's a cute game like if you have kiddos this is actually a really cute game because you're it's very simple to teach teaching the little ducks like how to go down and around they're trying to go down the drain of the tub or not go down the drain of the tub you, you float around for a while and then to go down the drain of the tub or head to I the drain I, there's something about you have to go drain. around and, and collect certain items and they're cute little ducks in fact the girls were like Swapping and That's what's the, the only cool out. thing about it is the ducks the, are completely randomized. And they're unique and it's adorable. And you could take other so, ducks if you have kids that are like crazy about so these, these ducks. So these don't sell, I'll just cannibalize them for the ducks. <laughs> He's not wrong. And they're really cute. But anywho, if you have so kiddos... So duck, duck, gone. They're great. Duck, duck, gone. Did you just say that? You're not cool. <laughs> You're not cool. What is this? All right, next up. Wow, Nick. <laughs> Barbarian. Battlegrounds. But, okay. Barbarian Battlegrounds. So this is a freebie game we got at the uh, cruise, Dice Tower Cruise. Um, I told you my biased, my completely biased opinion. (laughs) This is like a, you roll dice and you decide what to do with your dice. You can like build up your skills or you can attack other people. It's very take that-y. It's very random. Um, this is the one that we took forever to set up because the rules were pretty the bad. The rules in this game, sorry, uh, Greenbrier, were horrendously bad. Just horrible. And um, as was this the one that Nessa was like, yeah, never mind, I don't want to play now. It's yes. too much effort. The only reason we kept it to play with Nessa and she has no interest in playing it. So, therefore... Oh, man, but... Okay, look at it one last... Mm-hmm. Back. We're After back. these messages. We are back. Hey, we're back. Sponsored to you by... Oh, I got cold if you missed it, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> the Hav Inland 
port. But Hunter, the Hob is one of your favorite games. This she is the, said. This is the in two, surprise. This is the two-player version of Le Havre. It's got um, <laughs> it's got some weird resource management mechanism thing where you're going up this little track up here and you're, oh, yeah. you're doing the like track. oops the track's upside down you're doing you're going up this track some things give you this direction or some go this direction some go this direction and yeah it's 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 amazing. So, La Hava is one of my all-time, all-time, all-time favorite games. This is a very, very poor representation of that game. But it plays faster. It does. It plays in about half an hour. All right. Um, people are asking why we have keep cards. And... <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Set! You know Hunter's opinion, and now mine. We haven't touched it since we initially got it. I played it one like, time, and I have no interest in playing it again. We like La Havre. If we're going to play it, we're going to play La Havre. Because we can play La Havre in maybe 90 minutes. Yeah. So it oh, is, yeah. it is longer, but it's not so long. It's not that, that much longer, because this one says... Oh, no, it says 30 minutes. But I didn't, but like, we'll I didn't like the wheel thing, and it was awkward. The way the buildings the come out. Buildings it's... float around this thing, and it was weird, and... Our kids are getting older to where we can play the bigger games and shoo them away and find things for them and games for them to play. So it's like, mm, mm, mm. is an amazing game. That one's yep. not so much. Yeah. We may have our first, our first <laughs> letter jam. Cooperative word game. <laughs> all right. What's that face? Why are you laughing? Because <laughs> I said cooperative word game. That's all I talked about. <laughs> Ready? Yes. One, two, three, go! All right, why are we keeping this? It tasks me and I shall have it. <laughs> I. We are so horrendously bad at this game. I don't care. I like the way the game works and it bothers me that I'm bad at it. I want to get good at it. I love the All right. mechanical. We'll keep it, but you need to find a friend <laughs> to play with you. Bailey. <laughs> we'll keep, Bailey will play we'll keep with Letter me. Jam because Rebecca actually likes it. I, 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 I despise it with the burning of seven suns. Is that why you played it so much when we first got it? Because you're like, this is the only play I've ever done. Because it was, it was like, I was, I was like angry at the game. <laughs> That's the only reason I'll play. <laughs> Bailey says she'll be your friend. Yay! Bailey! All right. Always delivers. Indulgence! <laughs> Up next. Are, we, are you putting them in different sets? Oh, yeah, I better I trust you. Trust you. Letter jam is a key. Okay. Yeah, mark that down. Indulgence. Second. We got this on the Dice Tower Cruise. Yay! Thanks, Nick. Two <laughs> years ago. Two years ago, we got Indulgence. This was, quote, Caitlin's game because... <laughs> we were teasing her about they this. They gave away kind of free ones at the end of the one of the game shows, and she ran up and got one. We've asked her at least a dozen times to play. <laughs> And she said no every time. <laughs> so this is a uh, trick-taking trick take game, as in most trick-taking games. Not all. Most trick-taking games are three or more players. So we actually have to have someone play this with us. And um, the more this sets on the shelf, the, the, le Hunter gets. the less I want to play this game. So um, supposedly it's really good. I just is that ring 3D? Because I want to steal it out of it if yes, no one it buys it. Yes, it has a 3D I want to see this. That's I want to try this game. Gosh darn it. Stinking Caitlin. Dang teenagers anyway, right? <gasps> what? Hold up. <clears throat> you checking Ooh, it for size? Ooh, it's got a little weight to it. That big giant gems. Oh! Now you're never going to get that off. Take that, sucker. <laughs> uh-uh! This is mine now. No, it For doesn't. now. It's, it's part of the game. For now. You have to keep the game. For now. Okay, for now. For now. Like my sparkly? You know my sparkly. All right, here we go. Indulgence. I'm indulging. It's been on the shelf of shame. It's the longest game that's been on our shelf of shame. It's been there for over two years. <sighs> you were ready. You were already like, bing. Fine. I don't want to listen to you whine anymore. Get this crap out of here. <laughs> Woo! Opened up a spot on the shelf of shame. Oh my god! Right, here we go. Anybody want to play that just for the heck of it? You know. This is a Stefan Feld game. 
Um, we had one time we had grand aspirations of collecting every Stefan Feld game, but we've those aspirations have gone out the window because there's some not so good Stefan Feld games. And we've also decided that yeah, we're collectors kind of, and we're still players, and we need to have room. <laughs> So, Does that make sense? It makes sense to you guys. I know. Here, here is my opinion. I could be completely wrong. I apologize to Renegade, Renegade Games and the genius of Stefan Feld. That is Stefan Feld. This seems like a game they said, Hey, Stefan Feld, you got a game sitting around that you could put together in about 10 minutes? <laughs> she wouldn't want Slide Hunter's going to pick up and throw at this and one. And Stefan Feld said, Yeah, I do have a game sitting around that I could put together in about 10 minutes. <laughs> Thusly, we have Revolution of 1828. <laughs> This game is horrible. Oh, now you enjoy elections. This game is horrible. It has zero theme. No, it does. It has a theme. It's it's a it's a revolution. It has zero. It has zero theme. It's revolution. basically it's basically a throw coins on a, a board a game. A overly complicated for no good reason battle line. That's a really good summation. I'm going to go with that. So. Uh, Watch it, Jeff. What did he say? He said, well, it is a Feld. Ban that guy. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Watch out. Bye. Stop I had no Feld. interest in this game. I was done with it halfway through the game. Yeah, she checked out about ten minutes in. I was like, wow, you can be mean to each other. And it's dirty politics. I and love that. It may that. be his lightest game. My I've, favorite theme that, ever. That may be his lightest game, other than one we'll talk about <laughs> a little bit later. All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Jobby, Jobby says Hunter sounds like he wants to keep it. <laughs> he did, didn't he? It was really convincing. Lanterns. This is. So lantern is a uh, <clears throat> set collection. <clears throat> Basically, you're collecting cards. You're getting different colors worth of cards, and you're turning those cards in to get uh, victory points. Different little tiles that give you different victory points. You can combo the cards off each other. They have like colors along their different edges, and if you match edges, you get bonus cards and uh, all that good stuff. Um, yeah. There you go. Huh. Your drum roll is getting sadder and sadder as time goes Fine. Beat the crap out of somebody. Yeah. Oh, you put keep to, you dirty rotten. You just did this to troll me, didn't you? <laughs> I like lanterns. I was taught this by one G Z Garcia. It has nostalgia for me. Oh my gosh! Thank you Z for saving the game. I like <laughs> dirty rotten punk. Okay, so what, not we, Z him. <laughs> lanterns we kept. Kiss my ring. Indulgence we act. <laughs> Revolution we act. I have a lot of fun with this. Kiss the ring. There right, we go. <laughs> Next up, kiss the ring. Three wishes. <laughs> Can you even see that? That's like glary as crap, man. That's a great way to describe that game. Glary as crap. There we go. Right back here. I can what get the it. heck? Are it's we long far sighted now? It's not glaring back there. Somebody get him some progressive lenses. <laughs> All right. All right. Three wishes. <laughs> Dan. <laughs> this is a uh, kind of a set collection game. You're trying to collect three different types of cards. Um, I think you got. Like, Ooh, I don't even, you have to have like. Uh, I don't even remember. We played this game one time, I think. I'm not used to wearing a ring on this finger. It's weird. Um, collect three kinds of cards. There's like a... I don't know. A need, a want, a desire. I don't know what these are. Anyway, three different types of cards. Once you get three different types of cards, you basically say, Hey, I'm done. And then uh, you check and see who has... Do you know what I do? I say, has, Genie, I wish for three types of cards. Whoever has the best wishes nah. wins the game. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Nick... <laughs> Nick says crap glares. All right. <laughs> Is it a game description or I don't know. I don't know. See, I put it way back here. It doesn't glare. I don't know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's vote. Let's vote. Hey, everyone's really convinced that this is one of your favorites again. They're like, oh, it sounds like one of Hunter's I favorites. told you I was going to give a completely biased opinion of each of these games. He's so boring. We can tell in advance what he's going to vote. But no, mine is I a complete made, I made, mystery. I made, I, made, I made lanterns look bad. Yeah, you troll. We ready? I don't even remember how to play this game. It tells you how excited I am. Bye, three wishes. Uh-huh. All right, the ring's itchy. It's weird. I'm not used to wearing a ring. All right. <laughs> Probably turned my favorite. There we go. Oh, but this is the classic troll Tom Vassal game. Hashtag Tom Vassal. I'm starting Hashtag to, Hunter Thomason doesn't have fun. I'm starting to think that Tom was right. <laughs> 
trying to think Tom We was may right. only use this just to think about torturing Tom with it. That's true. So, um... But it's funny. This game's a lark, maybe? Is that the right word? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's... it's Good work it's for that. funny, but it's so completely, totally random and very little strategy to this game. There you go. But, but, but. Watch out. Yeah, I know. I put keep. What? Yeah. It's hilarious. It's we a cute little game. Fine, we'll it's keep cute. it. It's cute. It's cute and it's fun it's to troll people with game. it. It's silly. And it's a great way to just randomly pick who's stuck having to do dishes. You're supposed to something. convince me to get rid of it. You immediately change your opinion. Yeah, I know, because I was just like, I figured you just like, I'm going to need shelf space. I don't want to listen to you. No, this is a cute little game. No, it's cute. It's, it's so annoying. It's so obnoxious. It's glorious. Uh, hey, actually, so I had... you're not going to fight too hard to call it? No, because I was going to steal it from my game group at the worst case scenario, because I was going to be like, mine, I'm not letting it go. So... I mean, yeah, that's a really good game for your game group. It you know, is. The speed games are, are fun. Kids speed like speed games, games are really good for that, especially when they're, you know. All right. I'm, I like it. I, all right. I'm glad. I'm actually. You didn't fight too hard nah, for that one. Nah, I was very half hearted. All right, that. what's Honestly. Next? Honestly. But Cthulhu, we've had so much fun being stupid and thematic with that. So this is a word game that you basically spell words, and the words are worth various okay. points. And you basically add up your points. You roll a twenty-sided die. If you roll above <laughs> your total, you don't get a, a, a like a, a insanity point or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. If you roll uh, <laughs> below your total, you you get an insanity point. You lose all your insanity. Your sanity lose all your yes. sanity. You get eliminated from the game. We only have one little point left. You can make up random words. Uh, it's got cute little Cthulhu uh, it's, miniatures in it. Yes, they're wonderful. And what's great is when you only have one of these left, we act really stupid. And we act crazy. And you get to, like, spell your own, make up your own words and stuff. And they're just hysterical. Here, you're not doing that right. Here, here, here. Uh, okay. Look at that little guy. He's cute. Look at him. He's cute. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Hmm. I, I may have opinions about this, sir. All right. We haven't played this it in one a may while. Be, I think this got a reprint. This is the older version of the game. I think it looks it, different now. Okay. All right. Are ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are ready? What? What? Nope. I disagree, sir. Why? It's, it's so random. That's part of the fun. It's a silly, fun social game. It's a light. It's basically. All right, a find a friend. To take party away. Game. Yay! Who's gonna come over for Word Games Day? <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, you can go find something to do, Mister Naysayer. Speaking, speaking of word games, call naysayers. Swear words. Wait this a minute. Is, wait, wait, wait. Does Eric do the voice for this? Yes. Mmm, that's a good selling I think. Point. I think he does. Hold on. Does Eric do the... Uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Hold on. Everyone, close your eyes. Not no, Eric. that's not Eric. Not Eric. Definitely not, not Eric. Eric. Where there he goes. Words? One point against it. So this points, this was man. this is a more complicated, convoluted version of Insider. Um, yeah, it's a word game. You have bad guys, traitors, twenty questions type game. Question: Did you put Insider in this calling list? No, I did not. Well, we all know what his opinion is on that. Then, interesting. All right, here we go. <laughs> Added to the list. <laughs> <laughs> Try to throw me off the scent. I know you. I'm ready. Get your signs. What? I'm ready. Get your what? signs. What? Oh. You're, you're ready to go? Let's what? do you this. What? You going deaf on me? You What's do this. Up? One, two, three. Shoot! I like Insider way better. I do too, but this one's funny because it has a traitor. Like, the guy giving the clues can be the traitor, and that's hilarious. You don't like it? You're not a fan of it? Yeah. I mean, if you're... You're not a fan of it? If you're... You like it and you like to play the trade. I don't care. I, I like Insider like this much more. All right, get it out of here. Cold. Done. You, I thought you... Done! Were... All right. That was easy. Talk me into it. Okay. Yeah! Win! <laughs> Insider. Heck no! <laughs> Same game. No app. Uh, 
It's, you teach it in about 30 seconds. It's like a size of like one of those big packs of gum nowadays. You didn't even do a drum roll. I didn't. Yeah. We're keeping this bad boy. Right, that, that one's fun. You can play with like 40 people. No, you can't. We only have so many cards, but yeah. That's garbage. You can play with more. Whatever. Zuloretto! So we played this the other day, and... Um, it's adorable. It went over like a, like a lead balloon. To you! <laughs> okay. I was like, what? This is my opinion. You want to describe the game and give your opinion? Yeah, it's adorable. Right, it's got do it. little animals, do it. and you fit them in it. Oh, my this goodness. One. I... I... Talk about it. Convince me not to call it. Oh my gosh. It's got adorable little animals and you're mixing and matching sets and you kind of have to Tetris them into your zoo and it's one of those where you have to, it's kind of like the, um, uh, uh, like the original Baron Park with a, but with a variety of animals and it's adorable and you kids can play it. Yeah, you kind of do. You have no. to fit them into the zoo because they, they, the, they have to have certain types and certain pens and if they start having babies, you got to start Tetrising them all in there. All right, let's do this. I think y'all know what I'm going to pick. One, two, three. Eh. You dirty rotten. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I had to put some in that I'd Oh, this my gosh. I like Zula. How dare you, sir? <laughs> How dare you? Oh, my goodness. This is fun. All right. <laughs> Here we go. The board little thing called Tricks and Treats. Don't we have, like, three copies of this? No. I got rid of all but this one. Oh. I think I threw them in the trash. What? <laughs> Sorry, Emerson. Emerson. What? This is my Emerson. Matsuchi. Oh, we like his stuff. Why'd you throw his stuff in the trash? I don't even think he put his name on it. That should tell you something. Oh my goodness. Stop it. <laughs> uh... It's a little, a little Halloween themed uh, card game. It's cute. You get to pick on who's getting what treats and, and trading stuff around. and It's great to play with kiddos and it's a Halloween. So it's a game, one of the few games you can play during a holiday. We don't have very many holiday games that are actually like holiday. Hmm. It's it's small too. How is this saving shelf space, you troll? It'll fit a small game. Oh, another small game like this that you love and cherish, yes. like Insider. Yes. See, uh -huh. it's sisters Insider. There's only room for one or the other. Oh my goodness. You ready? Yes. You. <laughs> I'm gonna come across this table. <laughs> All right, we got uh, uh, link whatever this game is. <laughs> Nick says you're supposed to argue after you pick. Oh, this is a cute little game. What, whatever this game is. I forget what it's called, but I love these games. You, you put them out, and it's a little tile-laying game. I think uh, Tom played this live once. It's a rip-off version. It's, yeah, not, it's, the, the, it's not the real version. No, it's not the real one. I think it's a little It's called version. OK Play. Okay, it's got a stupid name, but we we even took it to the game group, group um, my, at school one week, and they had fun playing this. They played it over and over. You just take out the little thingy scene, you have your own, and then you place the tiles. They all come out this way? I don't know which way they come out. I haven't played with this in a while. I don't think... Maybe they are supposed to be that hard to come out. I don't know. Anyway, you lay them out, and you have to lay them out in a certain way, and they can only be... Um, you have to, like, have them... Touching, uh, it's kind of interesting to lay them out, and the more you have touching, you get more points or something like that. It's kind of a, uh, it's, it's, it's not a nice even the real little... version of the game, it's a fake ripoff version. So, it tells you to go to YouTube to learn how to play the game because it's real. like the first person to get five touching wins or something like that. So, it's kind of like Connect Four, but fully like I don't want to say 3D, but better than I don't know it's like yeah it's like a, a horizontal connect four but with five it's a little tougher right am I right yes. tell me I'm right yes you're right I'm right yeah see, yeah there you go Cinco Linko the rules in the name Linko Cinco Cinco it's a, not even the real version so so like this is the the the, the Dollar General version of and look at how Cinco, you can Cinco. clip this on your belt cool it, it actually, guy it actually does it, it actually go, does a picture of putting it on your belt does it really yes <laughs> Okay, now life goals bucket list. I'm clipping this to my belt. I'm gonna be like, who wants to play some games? Oh, and and you know, say, okay, play. <laughs> Let's vote. What? No. You, you take that to your classroom. It's cold from our house. Why? It's, it's horrible. What? 
Oh, it is a waste gosh. of space. And oh. it, look at this. Look at the, you can't, you can't look at the rules. You gotta like cram your rules. Up you don't like, really need the rules. The rules are. I already figured out the rules. Oh my gosh! You can clip this to your belt. You're not. Cool. You can take it to your classroom. You're not cool. You can take it to your. You're class. so not. It's cool. gone. Not. Cool. I, I veto that. Oh that's, my gosh! That's, that's, it hadn't been used. It's been sitting on the shelf for like a year no, and a half hasn't. now. I just told you I was. I took it to the game group and they played. There you crap go. Take it. it to the game group. Uh, that's count. <laughs> Nathaniel. A, that's a half a call. <laughs> Nathaniel wants to be a student. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have like 60, 70 games at school now. I think. <laughs> You want to talk about this one? No, I want to hear your rant because it's funny. This is not a game. <laughs> this is a uh, uh, curiosity. <laughs> so there's a Star Trek timeline that's laid out in all these cards, which takes an hour to set up, and you have to figure out which one's face up and which one's face down. Um, it says 15 to 45 minutes. It's 30 minutes of setup because you got to. You literally. I don't know if you can see that. You got to set all of those cards up. Facing all those directions in exactly that order to set up the game. All right. Then what you want is there's ways to flip certain cards over. You flip a card over it that causes some chain reactions down the timeline. So maybe, for example, Kirk uh, failed the Kobayashi Maru, and so then he doesn't become a captain, and all these other things don't happen. So you have a, a card in front of you. It's like flux, and you're trying to get a certain situation to happen. Like you want these like three things to occur in the timeline. Um, so you got to have certain cards to flip, certain cards not to flip, and you're you're flipping flipping cards and getting your timeline to go. Um, the first time and the only time I'll ever play this game, uh, we uh, I got handed the card and all the cards to win on the first round. So I immediately uh, positioned myself to win, and someone said, "Oh, I have this card that says you don't win." <laughs> Literally, it says you do not win the game. And so the next person in line won the game. It's Flux! We all, we all know how Hunter feels about Flux. This game is horrible! I liked it. But I like Flux. <laughs> we can throw it down that Flux pile of gar I mean, uh, of Flux games down at the bottom of our shelf over there. Mm-hmm. I wanted to go to the pile of flux. All right, and go to the pile of flux. Yay! I am never playing that game again. <laughs> it's just fun. Ever, it? It's just ever another version again. of flux, it's so and it's very bad. trekky and it nerdy. It's so bad. It's so nerdy, though. It is. It is. I think. I th do think it's kind of uh, interesting because you, the the card, like I said, it's a curiosity. I'd almost like lay it out and just goof with it. And flip this card over and goes, oh, these things happen. Oh, that's interesting. You don't have to play the game. Flip this exactly one over. Oh, huh? You don't have to play the game as a rule state. You could. Anyway. All right. We'll keep it. <laughs> Yuck. I just saw one of the games you have in the cold pot. Oh, I put an X. We actually kept that one, didn't we? Mm hmm Yes, I know. You guys were All right. like, so, why'd you keep so that? So, this game somehow showed up in my collection. <laughs> I don't know where it came from. But I, I, I expect it's uh, it's loitering in my collection. Loitering? Yes. <laughs> Throw it away. Okay. Get it okay. out of here. Yeah. You had it upside. No, you did have a right side up. Okay. I was like, oh, I'm kidding. We're keeping this. This is the coolest game. It's ours. No, it's not. It's actually ours. <laughs> Don't worry, we're keeping your game safe, That's Tommy. Tommy's blah, game. Blah, blah, blah. If we ever Tommy's get to finish game. it, blah, blah, blah. Fire starter. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Tom <laughs> must be done. Kabuki showed up. <laughs> hey, Book. All right. I haven't even gotten to play this game yet, dude. This game is bad. Why? Like, horribly bad. Why? It's timed. Ooh. It's literally, you have 15 minutes to win, and there's cards in the game that says, talk really slow. And make people bribe you to talk faster. So are you a traitor? No. <laughs> you just want them to bribe you. It's like every man for himself, and it's timed. Alright, that's too close to reality. I'm so when, when you crap. get ahead in the game, you can just kind of stall. And what? play slow. And people start yelling at you to play faster. Yeah. It's a horrible game. Firestarter. But! Yeah, we can go but! Camping. But! 
What? If it doesn't sell, it does have one of the most amazing components in the game. What? Look at this thing. Whoa! It's orange! Why are we calling this? It's not gonna sell. It's a sweet. All right, man. I'm getting a. Yes. Yes, my collection. Yes. But I, I can use that in class. Oh my gosh. So, Do you know how long the time is set for? Fifteen minutes. Oh my gosh, I can use that in class, and it looks ominous. It's much more fun than using an electronic timer. I'm doing that, man. That's happening. Where is it? <laughs> no one take this game. All right. What's everyone talking about? It's sold out at BGG. <laughs> no, someone just mentioned something. Oh, We're great. doomed was fun once. Yeah, I could see that. I could totally right. see that. I could see that being like Here that. There we go. Totally we got get it. hardback. Another word game. You can tell who picked the coal games, right? So we already have paperback. We prefer paperback over hardback. I don't see any reason to have both, but... That remains to be seen. Now, this is the one that has the, the, ink. the ink thing with it. Oh, man. Yeah. I gotta be honest. Like, if we're gonna play one... This one's more complicated than paperback. But needlessly I, so. I this felt, one is... It's like stuff that they kind of thought about putting this in... This is kind of a, a, a more gamery version of paperback, maybe? But it just adds extra rules. So you got the ink. You can use the ink to like... I don't even remember what you use the ink I, for. I, I pretty much ignored the ink, if I recall. Yeah. And it's got... Uh, it's got um, uh, mm. kind of the... If you play uh, Star Realms, it's got the different type, categories of cards. And you can carbo same categories off of each other. And I don't mm -hmm. remember all the stuff going on. Yeah. It's a more convoluted version of, of uh, paperback. <laughs> Sorrow song. Everyone's like, hang them. It's a hanging jury today. Ready? Yes. Get set. Bye, Bye. Hardback. It's a good game, though. It's I mean, it's, but if we have both, I really like Paperback better, and I don't, I, th I felt like that one was. Yeah, Tommy's got a good point. They really should have just made an expansion to Paperback. Inst yes. Instead of I making agree. a new game. I agree. They should have done that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Murder on the Cosmic Express. This is billed as a five-minute social deduction game. It basically is. Um, my students played it. Um, I didn't get to play it with them because I was having to put grades in or something. And so they figured it out and played it on their own. So that tells you it's easy to teach and learn because they're not very heavy gamers. Um, it is mega light. It's got weird... Basically, it's, it's like a... It's similar. It reminds me a lot of one night, the one night games, where it's like you got to say, well, if you got that card and I've got this card, then he has to have that card. Yeah, which means that this person has this card, and they which seem means to enjoy you have that. that card. Like, like they they seem to enjoy that part of it as a light game. Um, we have a lot of games like this though, but I think for people that haven't played a game like that or do want to play a light version of that, or you want to introduce it, it's really good for an introductory thing. All right. If that makes any sense, I, I think because it was it seemed to be very popular. You can take it to the game room if you want, but it's yeah! gone. It's out of our house. Woo woo! I'm gonna have to officially buy a bookcase for my classroom now because it's kind of getting full in there. It's too convoluted. It's too quick. It's too sudden. It's it doesn't seem. It kind of plays itself. It's just really strange. Well, it does. But if you're not used to playing games like that, true. It's but a we good are. intro. But we are. For us, it's not a keeper. But I think, um, I think it'd be. I don't know. I think it's a, a good for beginners and stuff. Oh, I have fond memories of this game. It was one of the time. First... This is a micro game. It yeah. has like sixteen cards. Sixteen. Eighteen cards. Um, you're trying to beautiful. Basically, art. it's a drafting game. You're drafting. Gorgeous, you. The cards combo off each other. You have three scoring rounds. You carry over your cards from round to round. Um, it builds on itself, I think. Oh, you keep like one card or something yeah. like that from round to round. The art's really cool. You can see the the art. I love the art on the cards. They're really neat. Um, well, that one's kind of sci-fi looking. Look at that. Yeah. We don't have Tides of Madness, even though I've heard it's better, just because this game. I don't know. It, it it was fun. The the probably we've probably played this game maybe ten, twelve times. Yeah, it was fun. 
I just have zero interest to pulling this off the shelf again. Not that that gives away my vote. <laughs> <laughs> it was, um, yeah, it, the art's beautiful. It's really fun. But for whatever reason, this just isn't doesn't seem to be our a game that we go to. And the eighteen cards become samey. It's like that. That did it's happen. Like, it's like you have like three or four good combos you're shooting yeah. for. It becomes really samey. Yeah, like, like really samey. Anyway. Yeah, and I have heard, and it looks like the chat confirms that Tides of Madness was a lot more oomphy, keepy sort of thing. Sorry. So we're just we're just knocking them down, man. I must I must have picked picked good ones. Well, the ones you didn't pick, you rotten troll. I mm, I had to mm. pick. I had to put some in. I'd vote yes for. Otherwise, it'd be crazy. Yeah. Oh, don't jump to the conclusions there, Jobby. I'm sure he's stashed away some real trollish games later too, just to keep things spicy. It kind of goes from worst to best ish. Even though I randomized, if you look. I don't, show, I don't show my list, but I ratchet randomized it. I put a, put oh, a, did you really? put a random number generator. Hmm. And uh, I went backwards on the list because it's the better games ended up at the top of the list somehow. All right, Curios. So I was curious about this game. Okay, let me look at the back again because I'm trying to... <laughs> this went over like a... What's heavier than lead? <laughs> I don't know, chemist boy. Tell me. <laughs> this went over like a... a I don't know, titanium? I don't know what, huh? A granite balloon. Yeah, a granite block of stone. <laughs> this one uh, did not go over well with the game group at all. Did I play this one? Yes, you did. Okay. It's a, uh, it's kind of a uh, deduction game. So you basically have a set of cards in your hand. Oh, I yeah, won and you have one. four That's different uh, like commodities that you're going to bid on. Uh, basically, you're going to collect, collect as you go. Uh, you don't know Here the value. Are. You don't know the value of the co commodities out there, but everyone has a set of cards that tell you that tell you what the commodities the values they're not. So you have some information, hidden information. So you're basically taking those commodities. You go hoping you're picking ones that are valuable, and you get a certain number of workers to do this. And you can, as time goes by, you can reveal some of your cards to get more workers to buy more of those commodities. It sounds like a great game. It was bad. Bad. Mad. It was bad. It was bad. So we're gonna change it from curios to colios. Yeah, it was. It was the people playing it about halfway through checked out. They were done. Did they? Wow. Yeah. Way to check out. You were one of them. I was. Oh. <laughs> it must have stunk. Are you sure I wasn't just tired? No. No one liked this game. Colios, y'all. Colios. All right. We're being harsh, by the way. Really harsh. You might like these games. Yeah, we're Ignore being, us. This, this, this we're is, being incredible. This is picky. mostly a lark. I, as, as easily as I talk crap about these games, I could tell good things about these games, too. So. Anyway. He's just trying to make space on the show. We got special permission to do this one, so I don't <laughs> even think we need... I just want to tell everyone we're calling it, because a little girl's growing up. She's just too old for this game. Oh, so sad. Should we, like, bronze it or something? We like probably should. Do like little footprints and stuff. This is one of the first real games at Nestle. What? Why are you just passing it to me? What? Who's gonna play it? I think we should. Oh, fine. Should hang it on the wall. Put it in one of those little. You can do whatever you want to. It just can't. Memory boxes. Oh, what is what's the saying? You don't have to go home. Wait, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay. <laughs> Maybe I'll donate it to a school that will use it. No, we have to Bailey. I'm, yeah. She probably already has it, though. Well, she might, but she might need it for her school. We'll see. Nessa said, get rid of it. It's garbage. She did not say that last part. She said, get rid of it. She didn't say it was garbage. You're such speaking a Speaking of Stefan Feld games. Man. Speaking of Stefan Feld games. But it's called Roma. This is Roma and Roma Arena 2, or Arena Roma 2, are both in this box. Oh, we have both the games. Man. We have Roma, Roma, and then we have Arena Roma 2 in the same box. So this is, uh, what game did I say? The Revolution, that Feld game, the yeah. other Feld game? Yeah. I think his game, that game was kind of sort of based off this game. A little bit. Um, yeah. This is a, another battle line. You're playing cards opposite each other. They have powers. It's like a more advanced version of battle line. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just kind of there. Rebecca never asks to play this game. 
That's true. We played Roma once and we were done. And then we played Arena once and then we're done. You haven't played, I don't know why I sawed off Rima, Arena when I didn't like Roma. Maybe I thought it would make it better, but just more of the same. Ah. So sad. It's I'm still Zachy! Sad about, I'm still sad about Outfox, too. Just saying. Hello, Zachy! What are you doing up at this hour? Another insomniac. <laughs> he is. Well, actually, yeah, he's like, it's like five in the morning. Oh, maybe he's just an early bird. Is that four in the morning? Ugh! Yeah. <laughs> There's a line to be crossed there. Stefan right. Feld. This one, I, this one, I actually have to think about. This no. one's like borderline. No, it's called Roma. All right, let's go. All right. Ready? One, two, three, shoot. <laughs> what do you think? Why? We never play it. You have no interest in playing it. I don't even remember what the dice do. I think it allows you to those put cards at those spots. Those spots. Hmm. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, we have all of his good games, and these are meh games. Are we going to? We've we're, we've discontinued collecting Feld. Yes. Then that means to me that his meh crap should probably go. That we deem... Like La Isla? No. I knew you were going to say that, too. And that Pirates game? No. I like the Pirates game. This is... All right. Get rid of it. Wow, look at him. Look at him. Get rid of it. <laughs> I only voted yes. 3 a.m. Oh, I gave up. He's had cooties forever. Zach, why aren't we Zach, keeping a healthy distance? Healthy distance. <sighs> oh. <laughs> All right, they're on your side now, sweetie. Start grabbing random games. I'm done. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let me see if I can pull these a little bit closer to me here. Watch out, lady. Move. There you go. I don't want to mow you over with this big old chair. There's a chair full of nonsense here. All right, let's just start from the top and work our way down. Gingerbread house. This is another one that I feel like, which I don't know why I feel like it's Christmassy because I mean it. I guess because it's the only time of year we really do the gingerbread houses. I don't know. And you go and you're trying to like put stuff on and build up the little house. And I remember thinking it was a really cute game, and I really liked playing it. And Hunter's giving me that face no. that says. You get to describe all these games on this side. What? Yeah. But some of them... See, like, we haven't played this one in a that while. And I, I remember saying, hey, I want to play this more again. But it was during the great And you got to, like, have guards to guard, your, to guard your house. And yeah. And the dudes come around yeah. and try to beat your house up. I don't remember. But we didn't play it more because we were trying to check all the games off of our list because of our stupid resolution thing. We have a new resolution now. Yeah, I know, and this isn't on it again, and it drives me banana sandwich. I'm like, I wanted to play it more. I liked this game a lot. Uh, okay. And you... Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not the gumdrop button! Okay, let's do this. That's right. One, two, three, shoot. Yeah, darn right. Give me that back. <laughs> I'm thinking. I know you like that game. Yes, I do. All right, next. Do. Next. Oh, Zachy. So sorry, dude. What? His cat decided to go vomiting. You know what? Nothing wakes you up faster than a, something throwing up in the middle of the night. I can come into it from dead sleep to dead sprint in, in like 0 0.25 seconds. All right. Keep them coming. It's amazing. Let's do this. All right. Oh, hey. Morning from Kyoto. How's it going? Very cool. All you crazy people. <laughs> that's your that's your secret uh, person, right? Julian. Yeah. yeah. Secret person. My, my person that helped secret me get... Agent, secret agent. Secret man. agent. Secret agent. Secret agent. I love that. Julian the secret agent. All right, so Royals. Royals. This was fun. I'm not really sure why this is on the coal pile. Can you tell me why you put this on the coal? It's got a layer of dust on top. Okay, of well, a lot of games do because of that stupid resolution. Just saying. Area control game. It's like area control within area control within area control. So you're controlling right. areas in yeah. different regions. You're taking control of the regions. You're also taking control of different area control and different area control and different nobles types of nobles. It's kind of a point salady type of game. It's got ticket to ride mechanism where you're drawing cards and you spend cards to do things. Uh, yeah, there you it's go. It's fun. Is it? 
Yeah, because you get to keep track of... This is one of the few, like, take that kind of cutthroaty games that I found amusing because you you go and you knock people off of a place and they go to church. We all know what that means. You know what's behind the church? The graveyard. It's like telling people they're going to put some cement boots on. It's I just think it's funny. And then you have to keep track of, like, the how many uh, Different princes nobles. you have yeah, and yeah. stuff. And, like, I, I think it's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I like sending your guys to church. <laughs> okay. Oh! I, I, I had to pick some I like. This game would just be boring. We'd just call everything. <laughs> I hate everything. This yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, it's fun. It's a fun game. All right, let's do this. What else? All right, all right. This kind of makes me sad in a way because you got it because it was the only Blood Bowl game you could find at the time. Correct. And it's got this the way this plays though. It's the Blood Bowl theme, but it's kind of like um, the uh, why do I always the match uh, mix mashup smash up. Uh -huh. yes. I don't know why my brain just does not remember that name. It's like a smash up version of Blood Bowl. Yes. And you go and you you have the fields and you go and and send your team and attack and stuff. I thought it was kind of fun. It was something different. The, the uh, theme for this is unique. It's got some minor deck building in terms of you get like star yeah, players. Yeah, you, you, you get add, star players yeah. and, and mix and match what who you're going to send where. Um, and sometimes the fields are tricked up too. Like you have certain things. You can only send certain types or something right, to right, them right. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I thought this was fun. I think this is faster than Smash Up 2, isn't it? Well, one to two hours... No, it's a pretty well, fair. It's a fairly long game. It's fairly long, yeah. And you do have regular old Blood Bowl now. I do. No one plays it with me, but I do. I told you I'd play it with you, and you said as soon as we fix it up, and then somebody hasn't fixed it up yet. <clears throat> I'm a busy man. Oh my goodness. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, shoot. I was only going to call it out of a mercy killing for you because I thought it was fun to play. I like Blood Bowl. I like Blood Bowl theme. It's it's not something I'd play all the time, but under right circumstances, I would play this game. Yeah. Okay. I do have one question, though, because you were like, smash up. But this one, you have to keep tabs, too. Is you, this don't one score, you don't score until the end. You basically go until you're out of cards, and then you score the places. It doesn't. It doesn't trigger. That's fair. Mid game. Okay, that's fair. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. I'll, I, I'll quit giving you crap then. That's... <laughs> All right, we're keeping that one. All right, keep them coming. They're on your side. <laughs> Sorry, I had to check. All of the. No, no, no. Like Second edition's the best blood bowl. Sorry. Wow. Fight! 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 Okay. I love how you're like think going to think mode. That's awesome. Well, okay, this one was our we've we've discussed this on the channel before. This was our save us. We love Caverna, but it takes forever to set up the game. Ah, right. We got this, and then we're like, oh, we kind of miss. Throw some hands. <laughs> Blood Bowl I, second edition. Second edition. <laughs> the um. All the farming element is cut out of this. It's literally just the cave versus the cave, and you're only doing the inside rooms and stuff for the cave, and you're digging out stuff for the cave. So it's like they cut the game in half, and you're missing half of it. And it's fun, but, like, the little, um, uh, instead of getting to collect all this and having piles of stuff, you have a track. You just keep track of it all. Right. Make it, yeah, it's cleaner, blah, blah, blah. It's fun to pile all the nonsense you have up and hoard all your stuff. I'm, not a, I'm, I'm really not a fan of resource. Your resources being tracked on a little track. So. Yeah, you like, you always I, like I to like, have your I pile like, of I sheep. Like, I like the tactile of having like 3,000 carrots. But in a two-player game, I can see why they didn't do that. Right. At the same time, it's like, but guys. And then we got the broken token... Uh, installation for installation I like that. The uh, it yeah. was an installation. That was one of our first big purchases. It was a big. It was an installation. It was, a, it was an installation. And Hunter wasn't used to it. And it was big because Caverna's big. And now it's just like we take Trey, take Trey, and we're like, okay, we're ready to play Caverna. Which was before um, a, just the startup for that was killing it. So then we're like, well, and then with the resolution, we play this again, and we're like, this is cool, but now we can play. Caverna. We can knock out Caverna in an hour. Yeah, because we know how to play it, so we're just like, your turn, your turn, your turn. We just slice through it. Oh, 
this is tough. I mean, it's cute, but are we going to play it again? You ask, is that a rhetorical question, or are you asking me that? I'm asking you. No. We, we, you were not I have no play. interest in playing this game again. Hey, hey, Rebecca, Self, would you like to play this game? Why, sure, Self, I'll play with you. I, I, it, I'd rather play Caverna. It, it's it's a more complete game. This one, this one, it feels like a, a, a trimmed down version of... That's what it is. Yeah. Well, and it does say worker placement without workers. Mm, that's not a selling point it, for people that like worker placement. The reason the reason I like Agricola and all creatures big and small, and it's not on the list, is you it. I don't want to play Agricola. I don't want to play the full version of Agricola. I have no interest in playing the full version of Agricola, but that gives me the feel of Agricola in a smaller and quicker version. Yeah. On the other hand, I would I want to play. The, the full of Caverna, and I want to play the full of the Hav. Mm -hmm. I don't want to play the full of Agricola. Yeah. Yeah. That's just me. It's true. That's just me. Yep. Talking about teepee. Oh, Ready? Yes. One, two, three, go! You actually called it. I'm surprised. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to play it with me anyway. That's true. Get it out of here. It's garbage. <laughs> It's not garbage. It's a good game. Anyway. Oh, Zachy, you were teaching. I forgot about that. I think you told me that before that you work at a school. Yeah. Man. I know. We could all chat for a long time about all the craziness going down, too. It's f do, 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 do. Yeah, my, my schedule really hasn't changed because I'm working from home. I'm doing you just Yeah, you just don't have to commute at all I now. just don't have to commute, so it's it's not a bad thing, but... Yeah, we're so, kind of lucky in that. We're regard. heading into year end, so it's I'm busy every day, so it's not much change for me. Yeah. Other than I can work in my pajamas and I don't have to get up an hour earlier. That's nice, actually. Yeah. All right, what's uh, next? All right. In uh, honor of Sam Healy. Don't worry, Sam. We'd never get rid of you. All right. Well, you know what's funny is uh, this is not even showing as our own games. So I think you took this to the game club. And it was intending to leave it there, and you brought it back. <laughs> you can't get rid of it. I like this game. This game's so cute. tell us about it's it. A why, silly do you, little, why do you like it? It's a silly little family game. The dice are cute, and a lot of times when you introduce family games, they've never seen anything other than regular dice. And so when you see something like this that doesn't have pips on it, they're like, what's this? And it's kind of fun to explain, you know, how everyone's going to be shooting arrows at each other and... and powering up by drinking a beer you know and just it's silly fun i you know it's fun to find out who's the even though you figure out within like 30 seconds who's an outlaw and who's uh a sheriff and all that kind this of good is stuff. if you guys can't see this is the dice this game. is bang the dice this game this is yes. the dice game yes um my problem with this is i like this game the it's stupid cute. arrows are are like you're dead get out of the game well, that's only if you suck and don't get you're, you're dead get out of the game Oh, sucks at the arrows, okay? Yeah, I'm just saying. You're, you're dead. Get away. Dude! Oh. He sucks at it. <laughs> sucks I, at I do. Saying. I am horrible at this yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah. But, oh, it, but it's not even in our collection, which is hilarious. Yeah, see, the dice... dice is not even in our collection. I like this one! I... Mm, I think it's a great family game. All right, let's vote. One, two, three, shoot! Yeah, that's right, Hunter. Put it back on the owned turkey. I've been owned! That's right! <laughs> Where did I, I added this one as a lark, so I gotta add. Lark. You you like that word tonight. The word of the night is lark. lark. The so do it like, lark. like Pee Wee's Playhouse. Anytime you say lark, everyone goes, ah! <laughs> if, if, if it was longer, that elimination, the arrow elimination thing would would be I wouldn't like it as much. Well, it's, only it's only a fifteen minute game. Yeah. It's a short little tiny game. It's cute. Oh, this is a solid abstract. Dragon Castle. This is like It's a beautiful game. It's gorgeous. And it's the pieces are solid, heavy, like Bonjongi pieces. I like this game. Again, I haven't played it in quite a long time. I think we did play it during the resolution. No, we played last time we played this was at the retreat. Was it really? It was yes. right before the resolution. Though. Correct. Okay. So, it's been a while since we've been able to play it. But, oh man, I like this game. It's 
It's got some fun little twists on it. This is it's it's just gorgeous. And I you're gonna show off the pieces. Just the tiles. Because they're I love the tiles. That big giant fluffy tiles. So Majong. I don't know if you can see that with the, the glare. There you go. It's not glaring there. So yeah, I oh wow. Oh, they're just you can hear them. They're solid. I think this is a beautiful game. I like. And we have a dice tower promo for it. Look at that. We do. Look. What's that? It's got like a dice tower set up. See? That's adorable. <laughs> have we even played that? I don't think so. <gasps> just a different way to set it up. So? Well, that's the thing with Mahjong. I mean, you set it up different ways or whatever. and Yeah. See? I, I feel the same way, Gary. What? I may mutiny. I may mutiny. Alright, vote! Monty Python reference. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No one's gonna take away my beautiful game. Take the sky from me. No one will take the sky from me. <laughs> There's a nice nerdy reference for you. Hey! We didn't like this game. Oh, yeah, this is the one that we were like, man. Okay. <laughs> it took me a second. I was like, wait a minute, isn't this one? No, I thought this one was okay. Was it this one or was it the... Yeah, I thought this one was okay. No, I'm thinking of Vikings. Oh, yeah, I am. You're right. <laughs> Vikings? Was it called the Vikings? Is that on our list? No, we're keeping it. We liked it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, Vikings are a wild zero. This one's not that bad. Okay, so tell, tell me, tell me all about it since it's so great. <laughs> okay, it's glorified roll and move. Yes. Okay, fine. It's glorified roll and move. It's pirates and you collect. You're just, you're just going around this map. Your cards, you have cards. You can either use them for movement or use them for their special I... ability. It's kind of a, I don't know. Everyone's all call. You collect, you collect <laughs> cubes and you're kind of like doing contracts. But it's, yeah. It was okay. It wasn't bad. Like, I think my family would play it. And I think this would be a good one for like the kiddos that, don't get a chance to play a lot of games. Like, I think they wouldn't Don't have it. to go home, but you can't stay here. <sighs> you get the idea, yes. All right, let's vote. Yes. Let's vote. You love this game so much. I don't... We were uh, complaining about it after we were done. Yeah, I know. Fine. Get out of here, pirates. Sorry, Glenn Drover. Hello, game group. <laughs> get out of here, pirates. This generous donation to the game group brought to you by <laughs> Hunter's Hatred of Certain Games. <laughs> <laughs> we should first raise them. Oh! Hmm. Oh, just do pre vote? Pre vote? Pre -vote? vote before you even talk about it? Oh. That would be interesting. We may try that next time. Yeah. You hear that? He's already planning his next call. No, we, He's we, probably we, like. We want to do a call in again for. A year? A, at least a year. He says this. I thought that was At least last a year. Time. At least a year. Uh huh. All right. This was another one we got. Um, on the cruise. On the cruise thingy. This, this is not tiny towns. This, this is, is not. This is little towns. It's a quiet village. Oh, sorry. Sorry. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I hang out with Disney princess fans a lot. Anyway. Sorry. Back to normal. Um, so this game. I could sum this game up in one Ooh. sentence. Oh, I thought you were going to say one word. Sorry, like... yellow. This game is not fun. <laughs> <laughs> Why wasn't I it I got fun? no enjoyment out of this game. None whatsoever? All. None. Not even the smack talk? Not even smack talk. Wow. Yeah, it was kind of lame smack talk. It's got it's it's like like Rebecca said when we were playing it's like it has all these cool and interesting concepts that just fall flat. Yeah, I guess you kind of know how I'm gonna vote too. And it's part of it like here, an example. It's got unique shaped, cutesy little silly meeples. Usually when they do go to the efforts to do that, like they're um they do something cool with them. Okay. The rest of the time you have this. They go to this extreme and then this is our resources. Why did you make these so cool and then the resources that you're messing with all the time are colored cubes? Does that blue cube look like a fish to you? No. 
This thing, and then they have hollowed out stars for you to keep track of your score. Those are cool. And then you have cubes. Why? Yeah, this, this game, it felt un un oh. unbalanced. It felt broken-ish. So you're going on the board and you put your little worker. And if you're adjacent, the eight squares around it all activate. So if you're next to mountains, you get stone. If you're next to water, you get, you get water, I guess. And no, fish. that's where you got the fish. fish. That's where you fish. got the fish. But yeah, and so that was. See, and there's then stuff as you like build that. buildings, you're gonna you're gonna activate all the buildings around you. But it's like yeah, but this was so frustrating because it was if you did that, it was kind of cool. Yeah, you're like okay, I strategically position myself. But some but of the buildings are do... so much better than other buildings. Oh yeah, they're not balanced, and you'd think there'd be some interesting way of how you place the meeples to get the resources or something. But no, it's just completely open i guess i don't know how to say it. it's just very strange yeah um yeah. we were yeah it was very disappointing i, li I like the concept it's kind of almost like a um i guess what am i looking for a real-time kind of strategy game where you're going out and you're you're mining for resources and yeah. you build build, build yeah. buildings and you're you're activating those buildings <laughs> but this game can be you can be brutally mean at this game you can take and like a person builds a perfect little spot to put a worker and you just put your worker there and don't activate anything just to mess with them it's it's got it it's take that with in a game that really shouldn't have take that it's just right. really strange to me julian if you're serious send me a message what <laughs> he's like send it to me and i'm like dude all right <laughs> i'll give it to somebody who would love it <laughs> all right yeah send rebecca a message if you really want this game it's all right but it's just there's lots of games that do it better yeah it's but again there's ah there's so many things it's like i wanted to I could more so. I'd rather play Carson City over this game. It's very similar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I see it. All right. One, two. Bye. Bye. Little town. Little town is gone. Bye, little Quiet. town. No one likes you. No one likes you, little town. That's a lot of calling. I picked, I picked a pretty solid list, I guess. All right. You let's did. keep going. That or you've beaten me down to where I'm just like, eh. I don't care anymore. I'm just kidding. Her Japanese Japan version looks better. It probably does. I believe it. <laughs> Julian, you're funny. I'm not sure why you put this on the culling list. This is a great little fun light. It's very samey. You're very samey. I am sometimes. <laughs> I try to trick it up and you think I'm crazy. So, I guess I gotta be samey. You like All right. So... This one is you have a game, a set of cards, and you have a. Um, wow, my drafting. vocabulary drafting. Thank you. You're drafting, and then at the end, you're gonna ha you have all these. What is it? Six, seven, seven, eight different six. little tracks that you're going six. to move around six, on. Sir. Keep track of, and you only have a certain number of cards. So you're gonna have to pick and choose when you want to move what. Because so, if you're in first and second place, usually unless it's number, number of players. Number of players. That's true. Um, you're gonna get more victory points and whatnot from it. And I like because some of them you want to be in the front. Some of them you have to do certain things, and I, I don't know. I, I like the little variety. I think it's easy to teach people. It's casual enough you can kind of talk while you're still playing and keep everybody. There's advanced sides to the all the yeah, different all the different the, all the different tracks. Yeah, so There's I mean, an advanced well, side. And to you each can't one. just chuck them up in the air and let them fall on whichever one's advanced. Play advanced, and yeah, you know, I mean you can do stuff like that to mix it up. I the replayability I think is high on this. I don't know why you call it samey. It's very samey. We have better better drafting games. We have much much better drafting games. That's true, and and, and gaming wife says it is a good potential uh, tournament. Don't game. try to sway me. I like that. See this game. I'm just. Saying. I don't know. It just it feels like it's you know boring and gets gets old after a while. Let's vote. Hmm. Hmm. Let's vote. I was just messing with you. <laughs> You love that game. I do! <laughs> oh gosh. This game! This stupid, stupid game. This game. <sighs> Epic Spell Wars Battle Wizards. Okay, this is probably my guilty pleasure game. <laughs> the art on this is absolutely vile and disgusting and stupid. The spell names are atrocious. But it's freaking hilarious to throw down these nonsensical spells and just blast the snot out of everybody. I mean, that's all you do is you take turns smacking each other. It's like King of Tokyo, but with smack talk. I 
what's not to love there, right? Granted, I can't play this with the kids because, again, the art is redonkulous. And it has a... Uh... Oh, yeah, innuendos and weirdness yes. and all sorts of nonsense in it. You're like, mm, okay. But, again, I don't know why. I love throwing down the spells and just... Goodness. It's so stupid funny. Oh, and Hunter's favorite. It's Faye Ticklebottom. Hunter always picks that one, which is terrifying. <laughs> He's right on top. Of course he is. He's terrifying. He's Faye Ticklebottom. I, I don't even want to think about that stupid... Okay, anyway. Um, so, but the, here's the thing with this game, though. This game, you're supposed to go into... Lasts into a, forever. Yeah. The game that never the, ends. The more players, the longer this game goes. And not because of what you think it is. It's the first person to get two victories. So if you're playing with the full, is it six or seven players? 27 players. It might as well be. Because what happens is, Hunter will win a game. And then, Gaming Wife will win a game. Yeah, you have and to win two I'll games. I'll win a game. And then someone else, everyone will end up winning a game before someone gets the second game. It takes forever. But we made the executive but, decision the last time we played that it's one round and we're done. Yeah, we did do that. We did make that a decision. Just for fun. Whoever wins the first one is, is, just is, the, the winner. is the winner. And that makes it quicker by a mile. Um, oh, man. Yeah, it's part of the Crimson Moon game. <laughs> yes, Tommy, I think it is. Crimson, what's that mean? Crimson Moons. Long story. Inside joke. <laughs> so I play six people. Six people, yeah. And it takes... Oh, my gosh. All right, let's um, vote. Let's vote. Oh, man. <sighs> Let's go. One, two, three. Shoot. Yeah. It's too I'll, stupid. I'll play it uh, if we play one round. The house rule. One round. It's so Winner take stupid. all. I, I Winner don't takes all. I like that game. It's so dumb. Okay. Okay, now. Mm. You bought this? Have you even played it? Yeah. Once. No, several times. No. Yeah. One sitting. Two sittings. One sitting. No, two sittings. One sitting. No. It was was like, the last time you played? I don't remember. Exactly. I'll have to go look at That's why I log my plays. You're, don't be a troll. I played the crap out of this when it was a CCG. Um, around 2000, 2001-ish. Like, played it a lot. I had... Scorpion deck, I had a Phoenix deck, I had a Crane deck, and then I think I had some mixed dragon deck thing. I liked this game. Um, I don't like the new rendition as much, but Katie liked it. And I mostly got this so I would play with her. She hasn't wanted to play anything lately. She has no interest in board games. Like she's Yeah, but that could be just, again, I know, it's not a phase, Mom. It's... Teenager. You can't predict teenagers, right, lady? That's right. You can't predict teenagers. So I'm going to abstain from the vote and get your vote on this. Because I have no interest in playing this game. And it's not my game. So. I, I just... I, I liked the theme of this. this I is, liked the, I, It had history. You have you have 100% control over the vote for this. Yeah. Because I'm not going to play this game. I have no interest in CCGs anymore. Yeah. Or even what LCGs, WXYZs, whatever they call them these days. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to keep it for a little bit longer. All right, get out of here. In the hopes that, you know, she'll pick it up again. But, yeah, I, I enjoyed the CCG way more than they... I I don't like the way they changed how the game plays. They should have left it the same. I don't know You're why... speaking people... a foreign language to me. I have no idea. Oh, well, anywho. All right. Oh, goodness. Oh, this is the one that's like Robber Barons. Robber Knights. Or Robber Knights. I always call it the wrong thing. Robber Knights. This is Robber Knights if you've played that game, but this is the Egyptian version of Expedition add, Luxor. You can play exactly the same, or you can add trick it up. They have a couple of like little mini expansion type things in it. I don't know if we've that played the expansion because we always liked yeah, the base. Yeah, we played. Game. We played with the expansion. Did we? Oh yeah, yeah, you and I did. That's right. I don't know if the kiddos have. The girls went through a phase where we played Robber Knights a lot. Actually, it was kind of funny. And then one of the pieces ended up mysteriously disappearing. I suspect the cat. Um, <laughs> Um, they haven't played this version as much. Like, hardly. They played can. one time and they didn't like it. Yeah, which was weird to me because I'm like, you guys liked literally the same game with Robber yes. Barons. Knights. Robber Knights. <laughs> 
I find the barons more interesting than the knights. What can I say? Um, Would they ever pick I'm, this over Luxor? Ever? I doubt it. They love Luxor. There you go. Yeah. That's sad to me. And they're two different, totally different games. Though. They are two totally different games. Bye! It's, it's a good game, though. I loved Robber Knights. I played it a lot with the girls, and I enjoyed playing it. Oop, that is an X. All right, last but not least. Oh, man! Okay. This one you're taking your game group, and this is to reinforce the fact you're supposed to take this to your game group. It's well, not even on our own list anymore. I thought technically wasn't this one of the girls's? No. Oh, okay. This is a random freebie game on some thing. Oh, sweet. Well, I mean, here's the thing. You were like, eh. I know, it's it's kind of, um, it reminds me of like a very simplified Acquire slash meets... Don't even compare this to Acquire. No, because you can like Bite your cards. tongue. Bite your <laughs> it tongue. It is, though, because you... Bite your tongue. Oh, man. I like the way It's like my Volkswagen down. is like similar to a Ferrari because they're both vehicles. Wow. <laughs> you haven't even played this. You don't even know. I played it one time, and I, about two turns in, I was done with this game. Well, let me tell you, I went over like gangbusters with my group and they played the crap out of it and played it over and over and over. Like it. They like the cut. Right, I told you like, to take this and let them. Fine, we'll take it there. Feast I it. like to play it. It's a nice. Why is there one? That, okay, why is there one like this game? This game is it's boring. Fun. It is it's so boring. boring. It's No, it's kind of mathy and you want to decide, it's okay, It's 49 why I to levels of boredom. And I experienced all 49 when I was playing. I hear a helicopter. Are we having a high water rescue near our house? It's not raining. Yeah, well, it floods over there. Maybe it flooded again. <laughs> That's just weird. Sorry, that was really random. We don't usually hear helicopters. Okay, so, um... I, fly I is like overrated. <laughs> Zachy. <laughs> I will fly over to Europe. No, I won't. I'm not going to Europe right now. <laughs> Sorry. Zachy's like, ah, I'm, not going to, I'm not going to Europe right now. <laughs> it, yeah, it's quick. Like... That's the thing. It's quick if it was longer, yes. It's I'm 30 with you minutes. That. That's not short. It goes really fast. No, it does not. This is the one where you what bid you money for cards and yeah, you get the you cards and you money. put yeah. your card on a board. and Yeah. There's something wrong with you. Ban Zacky. Nuh-uh. Zacky's a keep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's that. vote. Let's that would be funny. So you want to keep it here? Fine, I'll take it to my board game group. They come back People eventually. Will it's like, appreciate it's like it's like a, it's like a, a, good a bad relative. They show a up again rain. eventually. Hey, sweet! I haven't seen you in a while. Oh. Pinch's cheek. <laughs> I want to hang out with you for a month. No, <laughs> that's it, folks. We're done. We've called one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 19. 20 games tonight. 20 games. Scott You're Cole. right, Kabuki. That game is fairly zippy. I like that adjective. It zippy. is. And it's it can fun. zip right out of here. You know what? I think these might hurt a little bit if I smack them. I rounded the corners on some of them just oh, so you wouldn't you? be able to stab me. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our, oh, this is, their, this is an original right here. <laughs> About to have some technical difficulties. <laughs> So yes, what yes. percentage of our games? Let's see, we have about five hundred games. Twenty out of so, five hundred. So we—that's what four percent. You, you're the math guy. Four huh? percent of our games just got. You just cold four whole percent. <laughs> yeah, it was like watching surgery, Jobby. It was like a train wreck. I couldn't turn away. <laughs> but I had to keep watching. Yeah, right. Yeah, you should take it easy, Hunter. What? Chill out. The games. Yeah. And, and th th this doesn't include the kids' games, so we're going to go through all the kids' games and get rid of a bunch of those, too. Yeah, but we got, we're going to double. We got, we got little, little kids' game over there that are... No one's going to play those. Oh, heck no! Vampire Radar no, it's, it's... is a permanent fixture. It is the last game that is leaving this house. Or my dead carcass. In fact, look at that. In its beautiful 8-bit glory. Yeah, this this uh, this will like no that is that's solid. Gold, one of us baby. is gonna get buried with this probably. Yep. Because uh, this is the game that started it all. That's right. There you are. The nostalgia is. Yeah. This is like oozing, dripping nostalgia. This that's gross. This Wipe game. That off. This game led to all this craziness. Kind of. It did. wasn't for this game. I don't. I'd be. And a, secret I, agent I would, Julian. I'd, I'd be a more boring person. <laughs>
Yes, you would. Oh, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the first game that we played with Mr. Garcia ever. Yep. And we pretty much. Uh, and Vance, actually, too. Yeah, it was Vance. Yeah, yeah. The, the, over at uh, in, in uh, West Texas West Con. West Texas Con. Um, yeah, and it kind of gave us the nerve to hang out with them. That and gave us the nerve to sign up for board game breakfast, not b- blender. Blender. Board game blender. Eventually, you win breakfast. And uh, yeah, yep. there you go. There you go. The one that started it all. And it's a cute game. And it's a good. It's a cute. And if he tried to put this on the call list, he it's would a cute little. It's a cute little it. deduction game. It's fun. It's a fun little deduction game. Yep. There you go. No dibs, gaming wife. I saw that. <laughs> oh, when we die, we, yeah. <laughs> we, we will it off the people. We will it off. That children would get it first, people. <laughs> That's it. Uh, we, we, we went long. We went. No, we're not calling any heavy games. Nice try. At least. Really? No. No, it was all pretty light stuff. Light stuff and kitty stuff. We pretty much got our heavy games narrowed down to what we like yeah. at this point. Yeah. There's not many heavy games. Right now, you have to of. start like severing limbs and stuff before he's going to pull off any of the ones off this the show. First, the first big calling, we got rid of some heavy games. I don't think we'll get rid of... There's not too many more I'd want to get rid of. Yeah. At this point, Trish it's just Leches? like... Tres Leches? Tres Leches? That one's not bad. It's all right. Uh-oh. But we are going to... I am going to go through all the kids' games. We're going to go through all those. Yeah, we're going to go over it with the girls We'll probably stuff. get rid of another 10 or so of those games. It makes me sad. Yep. Yeah, Royals was the heaviest, I agree. And the, it's... Uh, above and below, similar weight, I would think. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. So, some medium. We didn't get rid of... We didn't, we didn't get rid of uh, Royals, though. All right, nope. folks. That's it. So, next week... What is next week? Oh, yeah. Next week is the uh, top 10 uh, that you guys Ooh. voted on over oh. on the Guild. Let's check. What? Let's check. Let's check and see. Bye, Jobby. Let's check and see what's who's winning. <laughs> Gaming wife, I'll pay. <laughs> who's winning the vote for the top ten that we're doing? I don't know what is the top week. ten. Let's look and see who's winning the vote. I'm curious. Curio- not curious. <laughs> it's cold. Oh, and I added a uh, a uh, little uh, new thing to the forum. You did. Talking about what your favorite game you played this year for the first time. Ooh. Here's I guess our, I should get online. I'm terrible. Sorry. Our vote is the winning more person is <laughs> Games of the Decade. So unless things change between now and the 20th, when I cut it off, I guess that's fr- is that Friday? Friday. Yeah, yeah. Between now and Friday, we'll be doing Games of the Decades. We're going to go through two, from 2010 to 2019. I know there's controversy about that. That's the ones years we're doing. 2010 yeah. to 2019. We're going to pick our favorite game from each of those years, but we're going to kind of consult with each other. That way we have 20 different games. Because a lot of those would be crossovers. Some of them would be crossover, yeah. So we want to give you 20 Ooh. different games. Yeah. 20 different games. So two games from each of those years that are our favorites. Very cool. Julian's offering to uh, hunt down another game for us if we need to. I'll set, I don't what know, game? any game. Oh. We'll set, well, I'll set Hunter Research. I would have said co- Coffee Roaster, but I got a US. Yeah, we found print. Coffee Roaster finally. Woo! <laughs> Who asked me a question? You've been asked a question. Oh, that, yeah. What? Please do a video every night so I have people to socialize with. <laughs> <laughs> you know we, what? We actually thought about doing that, but they'd have to be fairly short, I think. Maybe. Could we set up a Thursday night? We might, do, we might, we might do a Thursday night live play. I don't know what we'd play. One of the games would be cold. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, oh, yeah, that's horrible. I'm not going to play that. Yeah, we might do a live play. That might be fun. <laughs> the problem with doing live plays is uh, the camera is... We don't have a, a very good second camera to do the... Uh, oh, yeah, but who cares? They don't. No one seems to mind, and it'd be fun. You guys could chat with us while we're doing stuff. And Oh, yeah, Coffee Roaster's fun. Yep. Yep. Um, live plays. Oh, man, everybody's freaking out about live plays. Yeah, we may do a live play. Yeah, we could do live plays or versus the Although internet. Although we played so. most, of our, our, uh, most of our collection, so we have to just pick a game we like. Yeah, yeah we we'll, could, th- we'll see what we can do Thursday. <laughs> we could do a Leaving Earth marathon for... Uh... I don't want to do Leaving Earth, because then it'll be like every two seconds, you got this roll wrong. You got yeah, this I know, wrong. I know, I know. This wrong. You did that wrong. Pandemic gonna... life. You guys suck. Pandemic. Oh, that's Tommy. Live play of We're Doomed. <laughs> <laughs> two player? <laughs> two player? <laughs> The internet. No, just kidding. I don't know how the internet Versus plays. the internet. That's funny. Read this card slowly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next week, it looks like it's going to, unless something changes, the voting's close, so you can sway it if you want to. Yeah, uh, go on the, there and we're vote. We're going to do games of the decade, probably. So. Well, I guess I have some homework to start building either one, both of those lists, obviously, because eventually we're going to do them both. 
Um, so what is it? Games we like to play with the kids and That's it. Game of the Decade, huh? Yep. Okay, those are the, really the two front runners. Nice. Yep. So we'll, we'll uh, brainstorm some fun games to play Thursday. and uh, Five to play on Mars. On Mars. Oh, That's a long game. Man, you guys are in for the long haul. That's a long Zachy game. Zachy will have to get up at like 2 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. We'll Y'all see take you. care. We'll see you, we'll, we'll we'll see you Tuesday for sure. Maybe, Maybe Thursday. Thursday. Maybe Thursday. Y'all we'll, take care of yourselves. I'll schedule it if it, we decide to do it. That's right. Bye. Bye.